Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. If they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. twin sister so I've been competing my whole life. I might not appear to look tough but don't judge a book by its cover. I'm pretty tough. So here I am on Fear Factor to prove everybody wrong. I used to box in the Navy for the Navy smokers and I knocked off a couple marine heads. I'm pretty strong. I'm diesel. I feel diesel. I told people I was going out to try with Fear Factor and they laughed at me. They said, oh, you're a pretty girl, you won't make it. People may think that I'm prissy and cute, but I'm rugged. I grew up in one of the toughest neighborhoods in Boston. It's known as Southie. I used to run the corners with my friends and I would get into quite a few street fights. And I just want to prove to myself that I can still handle anything. I used to weigh 240 pounds and I was a 42 inch waist. I was the fat little country boy that went off to school and everyone made fun of. For the new Derek, Fear Factor is just a stepping stone to, to the places I want to go. I've been married five years. I have a one year old son at home and believe it or not, it's really important for me to not be comfortable with where I'm at because if you're comfortable with where you're at, you're not moving forward. What's up? Wow. What's up, Joe? How's everybody doing? Good. 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 Well, you six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason. Stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. And to win the money, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round and you are that much closer to the cash. Ready to see your first stunt? Yes. yes. All right. Suspended high above the quarry are three 40-foot long beams that are only three and a half inches wide. You're going to have to walk the length of each beam and then climb a ladder to get to the next beam. When you reach the end of the last beam, you must release the Fear Factor flag. The four of you that complete the stunt the fastest or go the furthest the fastest before falling will move on to the next round. The other two will be eliminated. And we have randomly selected who gets to go first. And Colleen, you are lucky number one. Lucky number one. Here ready? I'm ready. Right. Come with me. I think she's a, like probably balance. a dancer or something, which I yeah. think is a lot of balance. Yeah, she looks like she can pull a pretzel on us, though, that's for sure. Twist herself up. You're really on her, huh? Hey, man, I got to do my job. All right, Colleen. You're up first. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling Are confident. You? Feeling mm -hmm. confident? How's the balance? Um, balance is good. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race? Yes. That's your philosophy? Yes. I'll you're... be the turtle. I don't care. I don't need to yeah. be the rabbit. All right. Now you've seen the rest of these knuckleheads. Who do you think is your biggest competition? Alicia. Really? Why Alicia? She's very serious. She's kind of definitely like zoned and hopefully she has horrible balance. The only Dude, thing that's going to help her, man, is them ears, man. What? Those ears are going to get rid of balance, man. She... Wow. 
She does not have big ears. Well, they're bigger than mine. <laughs> now, you're the first person, so it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. Right. The bad thing is you haven't seen anybody go before you, so exactly. you have a slight psychological disadvantage. Right. But if you go crazy and you set the bar really high, you go really fast and do it really well. Psych everybody out. Everyone's going to be like, man, and they're going to have to try to compete with you. Okay. Right? So it's up to you. Got it. Now, Derek, you have some experience in heights. My grandfather owns his own construction company. So, like, I grew up pretty much working on scaffolding and climbing ladders. I kind of wish I had magnets in my sneakers. Remember, it's who gets the furthest the fastest or who reaches the end the fastest. You ready? In three, two, one, go! And she's off. Oh. I told you she's nervous. Look at her. She's nervous. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it is. It's only three and a half inches wide, and the wind is blowing. And the beam is swaying. The beam is moving. Need a little weight for that. Get your balance, Colleen. Let go of the ladder. Come on. She's straight. She's straight. Oh, she's trying to rush it. Oh, she's trying to just rush it. I thought she'd go even farther. I hate to say this, but truthfully, the wind, I think, oh. caught her ears. <laughs> well, the good news for her is that she moved quick. The bad news is she didn't get that far. She got to the six mark in 28 seconds. Well, Alicia's next. Got any advice for her? Keep your eyes straight ahead. That's it. That's really not much of a help, is it? There's not Street much. Who are you planning on looking at the sky? I didn't, expect, the a lot of, I didn't expect a lot of help. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Come on. I'm kind of concerned about Derek. He's a little flamboyant. You know what? He's got construction experience. He's used to walking on high beams. Like, whoa. Well, I'm not really concerned with that. That's only two people. So you're concerned with just making it to the top four? I'm going to be in the top four. Did what? you notice how high you were? I mean, like... I noticed because you see there's water. You see the water. There's what? Water. The water? There's water. Water? Yes. Oh, that's he's from Jersey, remember? <laughs> water. The water. What are you going to do with the money if you win? You going to spend a little, have a little fun? No, I'm a, I'm a business person. Really? I pay bills first. I'm intimidated by Alicia, man. She's got that cat woman look. Yep. Uh, cats got some serious balance. Yeah. <laughs> and she looks pretty solid. Show them why you're so serious. All right. All right. <laughs> that's it. Harness her up. Not me. I'm not walking. I'm staying. She's where I'm usually at. She's in the zone. That's where you're usually at? You're in the zone? I'm usually in the usually, zone. Usually? Where are you at right now? You're not in the zone? No, because she, she's in it. All right, guys, remember, this is the four fastest times today. All right, Alicia, you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. She said she's going to take it slow and steady. That was her strategy. She's in the zone. She's looking Very good. Serious. She's looking solid. Yeah, but she hasn't let go of the ladder. You look real good, too, until you let go of the ladder. She looked fantastic until she let go of the ladder. Boy, that thing is swinging. As the day gets longer, it's going to get even worse. What is she doing? She's backing up. Still to come on Fear Factor. <laughs> the quarry are three 40 foot long beams that are only three and a half inches wide. You're going to have to walk the length of each beam and then climb a ladder to get to the next beam. When you reach the end of the last beam, you must release the fear factor flag. The four that complete the stunt the fastest or go the furthest the fastest before falling will move on to the next round. Oh. There you go. If she falls now, you'll have done better than her. Oh. Oh. Way to go, Kaz. Yeah. Look at you. Who's next? Kaz is next, your favorite person. The next one leaving the show. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. very angry right now. 
You yeah. look very angry. Was it harder than you thought it was going to be? Much harder. The way I was standing, you can't walk and keep your balance on something that is not don't have its balance. Did you get your zone back from Alicia? Uh, she, no, she took your I zone. didn't have my zone. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I no, thought give she it took back, give He it said back. she took. All right. <laughs> He said stuff today, and I've actually had to like put my hand over my mouth so I wouldn't say anything. This is for my family. This is for my daughter, my son, my wife. This is for a new lease on life, kids. Here we go. Remember, Colleen so far has advanced more than anyone else. If Kaz falls short of her distance, Colleen automatically advances. All right, Kaz, you ready? All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, go! All right, he's up. Oh, look there! Oh, that! Oh, oh that Don't oh, let go! Don't let go! Oh, oh you're shooting! Oh, 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 Congratulations, you automatically move into the second round. Yes, you. yes, I'm not back in my bag. Oh, man. Somebody messed up my chi, man. He got to number two in 17 seconds, so he did beat you. Okay. The time factor is how fast you got to the mark, not how long and you're in the team. So he actually did better than you, even right. though it was more pathetic. Hey. Cause. My chi, man. Morning, Somebody man. messed up my chi. Somebody man. messed up your chi. My chi. You, you blaming chi? On other people? Not no, yourself? no, no, no. That was that was my fault. So your focus was gone from them yelling at you. The trash talking built up some negative energy. It came to me and it messed up my chi. Well, you're not automatically eliminated. We still have three people left. Well, now See I'm really well gonna have to smack talk. You know, I, I really I'm gonna have to use some mental games. Colleen is automatically advanced. You should congratulate I, I know. Colleen. Oh yeah, congratulations. Thank congratulations. you. My ears, you know, kept me up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You ready? I'm ready. You can Step do it. forward. Come on, let's go. You can do it. I just want to hear seven words. Fear is not, not a factor, factor for you. you. All right, man. That's right. All right. Well, you know what you got to do. Good I'm luck ready. to you. We're gonna harness you up. Heights is actually one of my biggest fears, but it ain't gonna stop me from making this nine feet. This is one of those times you wish you had a time machine you can just and, yeah. just, and do it exactly. again. Exactly. All right, Jeremy, you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Watch me. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Damn. All he did is just pass you. Thank you, Kaz. Thank you, Kaz. That's what they did to me, man. That's what I heard. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. The only thing that was going through my head was it's nine feet, get there as fast as you can and make it through to the next day. You are definitely not going home. Congratulations. You automatically advance to the next round. And now Alicia and Kaz are on the bubble. And Tina, yeah. you're up next. Are you ready? I am ready. Come with me. Let's go. Come on, Southie. Here we go, Southie. I'm going to do this. I'm doing this for us. Here we go. All right, Alicia. Remember, if she gets past the second rung quicker than 47 seconds, you're gone. OK. That's it. Here we go. All right, Tina, you ready? Go. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Yes, she failed. All right, well, yeah. obviously, this is a very, very difficult stunt and a yeah. lot more difficult than most people thought. You got to the second rung in 8.4 seconds. Alicia got to the second rung in 47 seconds, so you're in. That was <laughs> weak! Sad oh. little group we have here. Oh. Alicia, I'm very sorry, but we got to send you back. I know, I know. Did you have fun? Yeah, anyway? it was cool. Uh, yeah, I'm angry because I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. If I could do it again, then I wouldn't try to go slow because there's no way you can finish it. No way you can get the flag. We have three people that are automatically in. 
one person on the bubble that would be Kaz, and one person who could send him home, the one person who loves him the most. I so, do it. you have anything to say to Kaz before you go out there? Peace. <laughs> no. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? You ready to send a packet? I'm ready. Come on. All right, what are you gonna do with the money if you win? I'm probably gonna get a little bit of plastic surgery. Plastic surgery? Plastic what do you surgery. wanna do? Well, I used to be a lot heavier. I used to weigh 245 pounds, it was a 42 inch waist, and it all came right out of here. So you lost your ass, that's what you're saying? I lost my butt, yeah. So you're gonna get plastic surgery on your ass? Yeah. I cannot believe he's in this contest to get a, a butt implant, man. What is it? What do they make. stick in there? It's not like hard, like somebody's gonna go ting, ting on my butt. It's just gonna be like whoosh, whoosh. I just wanna have You've a little this? bit of Bucci, yeah. Dude, if I end up walking before a guy that's gonna get butt implants, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, uh, I really can't go home now. You're gonna have to put a little shake in there. Your motivation is to do this, kick Definitely. some ass to get some ass. Word. Before I got on the show, I practiced on curves to practice my balance, because I figured there was gonna be something with balance. I gotta come up with Jeez. something to get that guy off that dog on hey, there before he even takes a step. Come on, Derek. All right, Kaz, remember, if he gets past the second rung quicker than 17 seconds, you're gone. All right, Derek, you ready to do this? I got two words for you, butt implants! Come on, Derek, you got this, buddy, you got this. In three, two, one, go! Shooting for number three. Oh, the breeze just kicked in, feel that? Way on table yourself! Oh, it's over, oh, dude. Whoa! Hell yeah! It's okay. I'm not gonna do what everyone right, thinks man. I'm gonna do. Like, freaking yeah, flip out, man! Yeah, okay. Sorry. Did you have fun at least? Even as a boxer, I have never lost in the first round. I have never lost a fight. For this to happen, this is unreal. This is unreal. Good job to everybody, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. I can definitely yeah. say yeah. that. Thank you, thank you. You all move on to tomorrow, and let's get the hell out of here and find out what tomorrow has in store for you. Come on. come across as a tough competitor, so that might make people a little nervous. I define intimidation as to instill fear in someone, and I can. I think Tina intimidates me more than anyone. Because she's so tough and because she's from Boston, the chick has revenge tattooed on her back, and I want her gone. When I look at the four of us, and I know what it takes to win, and I just don't see that in Colleen, I really think she'll probably go home today. People think I'm a wuss, but I want to prove everybody wrong. I get more sights for the difficult stuff, which is definitely going to happen today. I'm not breaking glass. I was angry at how pathetic you guys were yesterday. I'm breaking glass because you're going to need it for your next stunt. Here it is. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You're each going to have to walk barefoot on this broken glass. One at a time, you're going to throw rocks through these numbered windows. Whatever numbered window you break represents the amount of feet you have to walk barefoot on broken glass. If it's a five, you have to walk five feet. A 10, you have to walk 10 feet. If you are too afraid to attempt this stunt, or if at any time during the walk you quit, you'll be eliminated. But if you do succeed and you complete the walk, you move on into the finals and you are that much closer to $50,000. We have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Jeremy, you are lucky number one. How you feeling, man? I don't know that I, I still feel good about walking across glass. <laughs> Would you have uh, rather done something else? Like eat some nasty stuff? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see how bad this hurts, and then I'll tell you. What did you guys think was going to happen today? Do you have any idea? Any predictions? I thought we were eating something. You can eat some glass if you want. We got a lot. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> I'm going to pass. You going to pass on eating glass? I'm going to pass on eating but glass. But you will walk, huh? I'm going to walk. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, come on. Let's come over here. See how many feet. That's a good number. Five's a good number, right? Five's a good number. But it's right next to a ten. That's an eight. He's getting blotchy. Yeah, he he's is. getting blotchy. Maybe he's hot. Do you do that when you get nervous? I'm a little nervous. I mean, <laughs> chicks just notice that stuff. Blotchy. Yeah. I'm, I'm just glad, I'm glad she you. noticed that. She's a makeup yeah, artist. Yeah. yeah. She wants to go over and touch me up a little bit. Sure. Will you, will you touch him up before he does yeah. his walk on sure, broken glass? Sure. No problem. Right. A little oh powder, a little foundation will take care of it. Come on over here, bro. He is a little heavy. He might be, you know, he might sink in deeper. You know what I mean? He goes in. I think he's got it. That's I think point. he's got it too. He's got to stay steady. Don't listen to Colleen because she just wants no. you to screw up. <laughs> she wants you to cry like a little girl and go home. Here we go. Eight feet. Take your time. Steady. How much you weigh, Jeremy? No. About 170 pounds too much. Oh. 170? Yeah. Dude, it's I can slow. feel that already. Dude. You all right? Take it slow. I'm t don't push it. You're going to throw rocks through these numbered windows. Whatever numbered window you break represents the amount of feet you have to walk barefoot on broken glass. Okay, Jeremy, here we go. Eight feet. Dude, nice I can slow. feel that already. Big you all right? right? Take it slow. I'm t don't twist it. You'll don't get that shot. Don't dig in. Don't listen to her. She wants you to screw up. Dude, I'm telling you. All right, come on. You let me know if you want to bail. Careful, Jeremy. Uh, oh, see, now Take your spot. Take your spot. Balance your weight. See. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, keep digging in. It. Watch out for the big one on your heel. Yeah, watch out for the one on your heel. There's uh, one. You can do this right too. Once you get a piece stuck in your foot, though, that's. All right, you're almost there, man. You're almost there. Come on, Jeremy. You got it. Almost there. You uh, can do it. Yeah. All right. I tell you, there's a piece that keeps going deeper every time. I take All a right. step. Tough it out. You're uh, almost there. You're a couple steps away from the final. Uh. Oh. All right. Just be careful. Come on. All right, dude. I'm gonna need some help. All right. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lift your foot up. Lift ah, your foot. I see it putting it right in my foot. Ah. Right. Ah. Lift it up, lift it up. There, a chunk just fell out. Ah. Jeremy, congratulations. You're in the finals. How are you? You did it. How was that? I'm a lot sweatier than I thought I'd be. Yeah? So it's harder than you thought it was going to be? It's a lot harder than I thought I'd be. And then the bad part is you start to move your foot to try and get comfortable. And then if you get a piece in the bottom of your foot, and every time you take a step, it just keeps going further and further into your foot. It's over. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Damn. All right, Tina, you're up next. All right, I'm trying to Looking see which one five? I'm going. Yeah, it's, they, they all suck, Joe. They all know? suck? Yeah. <laughs> you're in five. That's an eight. Here we go. Here we go. Eight feet. Uh-huh. Okay. Come yeah. on. Now, take your time, because uh, you have to get through the entire thing. If you quit at any time, you're eliminated. It's going to be the longest eight feet of your life. All right. Go ahead. Take your time. Take your time, Tina. Okay. Just be careful. Just be careful. You can do it. Just you pick your spots. It. You got it. Good job. No, I'm just there, Tina. You got it. Come on, Take your time, Tina. Don't, don't get cut. You're doing great. 
You got it, Dalton. You got it. She earned right, that you're almost there, Tina. You're almost there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tina, congratulations. Thank you. So was that nerve-wracking or what? When you put it down, it felt okay. And then as soon as you put a little bit of your body pressure on it, it went in. You know what I mean? Start to feel like poking. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. Thank you, Feel Joe. free to put your shoes back on and hide your Definitely. feet. Definitely. Derek, you're next. You ready? I guess. Let's do it. Come All right, here. Derek. Grab a rock. What is this Pat Benatar thing? Um, Love is a Battlefield, that song, um, beyond all their songs, just like, give me mucho power, and it keeps me focused, and I just keep singing it over and over in my head. Pat Benatar's gonna help you out here today. Word. She's gonna help you, uh, hit it with your best shot, is that? <laughs> yeah. Is that what's gonna happen? Maybe that number five. Okay. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, that was sad. I think you hit a window and it dropped off. <laughs> Wait, I was way close to that five. Yeah, way close. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Five! Oh, look at that. Good job, dude. Thanks. Nice. Guess up? that baseball in third grade paid off. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, come on over. Just remember to balance your weight. Mm -hmm. Five feet towards butt implants. Here we go. Okay. Walking for the butt. If you start Take to feel careful. it in your foot, don't put all your pressure down. I'm six foot one, and five feet seem to me like a mile when it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of broken glass. Thank God I lost a lot of weight. Dude, if I was still 240 pounds, yeah, whoa. Right. You were totally twisting your feet. Good. Too. Yeah, don't do yeah, that. Just be careful. That's what you don't don't do. twist your feet. Don't. See, oh. Oh, oh, as soon as you get a piece in, oh. Balance. See? I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Ooh. I'm almost there. You got it. Booty, booty. Get in ready for the booty, booty. All right, I'm gonna step I'm step up. Okay, lean on me, though. Make sure you brush your feet off. Word. Very lucky for you, you only had to walk five feet. Woo! Lucky for you, you got a good pitching arm, I guess. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. We're now in the finals, and that much closer to $50,000. Any advice for young Colleen here? Just stay balanced. Stay balanced? Straight. Colleen, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, come on over. Grab a rock. Stand right here. All right, what's your focus on right now? What are you trying for? Well, obviously, I would like to get a five, but see, the ten is next to the five, and then, but there's only two fives and a whole bunch of tens. What are you going to do? Are you going to aim for oh, the five? Yes. Which one? That one. That one up there? Oh. <laughs> You're only missed by 10 feet. You hit me, Colleen. I'm not going to be happy. You ready? I'm sorry. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. Want to do your victory dance again? It no. worked good last time. I'm All ready. Right. A little good. looser this time. There you go. Okay. Gosh, I don't want to hit the 10. I really don't want to hit the 10. Oh. 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 Five! Oh. Were you aiming for that five? Yes! Good job. Way to go. All right. All right. Well, it's already set up for five, so come on over. Okay. You know, if you don't make it through, then he's... I heard you. Go ahead. Okay. Take it slow. Taking it slow. Be careful. Don't rush. Why don't you start? I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm crunching through the glass. All right. I'm finding my spot. She has her own commentary. There's a piece on my foot. You're almost there. Chip up my pedicure. I'm almost there. I'm going, going, going. Good job, Colleen. Ha ha ha. victory dance. All right. Well, congratulations on everyone getting through the broken glass, and let's get out of here and see what tomorrow All has right, in store for exactly. you. Come with me. All right. All right. Is it gonna be? I don't know, I don't know. But you know tomorrow's gonna be a big pain in the ass. To this point, it's been us against the challenges, and today it is more us against each other. 
I think I'm a lot tougher than these other guys. You have the South Boston tough chick. You have the makeup artist chick and the good old country boy. And then you have me, the gay boy. I've made it through a lot of struggles in my life and I honestly don't think they want it as much as I do. I live with my two parents, my twin sister, and my 90-year-old grandmother. I need to move out and Derek wants to win the money for butt implants. I always think about my son because he's gonna grow up and he's gonna look at what I've done and I don't want him to be ashamed. Now it's up to me. All right, well, congratulations to you all for making it to the finals. You've all fallen off a beam and walked on broken glass. Now today, one of you is going to walk away with $50,000. Ready to see your final stunt? Yep. See yep. it, Jim. All right, here it is. You're each going to stand on the hood of a car 100 feet in the air as the magnetic arm swings overhead. Once you feel the car is over the target, you will press a button that disengages the magnet, and the car will come crashing to the ground. The contestant whose car lands closest to the center of the X is going to walk away with $50,000. Are you kidding? And we have randomly selected who gets to go first. And Tina, yeah, yeah. you are lucky number one. Of course. How are you feeling? Yeah. Um, it's high. It's high. It's high, Joe. Are you yeah. ready? Feeling good? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Come on. I'm ready. All right, Tina. Come on, Tina. I think I'm about to piss in my pants. <laughs> How do you feel about going first? I was worried about, you know, setting the bar and then a person beating me by a second. So I was really upset about that. But, but now I'm, I'm excited. I'm so psyched. She hits it, she hits it. But the problem is if she's off. She's off. All right, good luck. Oh, thank gonna you. Thank you. I'm ready! $50,000! You're each going to stand on the hood of a car 100 feet in the air as the magnetic arm swings overhead. Once you feel the car is over the target, you will press a button that disengages the magnet. The contestant whose car lands closest to the center of the X is going to walk away with $50,000. Here we go. We're not helping each other today, that's for sure. $50,000 is a lot of money. Feel the butt implants. I'm really like getting it bigger by the second. Don't you think it's gonna make you look funny, like unbalanced? You know how you know when a girl gets fake boobs because it looks so much no, bigger. No, because I don't want like double D's back here. I just want like just a little pooch. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, here we go. Two, one, wait. that is. I don't think it's very good. Damn, it's far away. So uh, how do you think you did? I thought it was going to be a lot closer, yeah. to be honest with you. It's hard to judge when you're up there. It is. You think if we ask her how the view is from up there, she'll tell us? Sure I'll save you the suspense. I won't tell you a damn thing. I don't expect you to. OK, good. Because I probably wouldn't tell you either. All right, your official distance is 39 feet 9 inches. It was a rush, and I love it. You know what? I always wanted that car over there, the convertible. I need a new car. I do, too. Well, so why would you buy butt before you buy a car? It's like an accessory to the car. It's just an accessory. It's Hi. like step out of the convertible and boot cheek. Yes. Jeremy's next. Got any advice for him? 
just because you're nervous yeah. and the car's shaking, so you're going like this, just don't fall off the car, that's all. Don't fall off, Jeremy. You got that, Jeremy? Do not fall off the car. Good you go, good luck. Come on. Did you learn anything watching Tina? I think she fell way short of where she wanted to go, and I think it's because of perception. I think you have to go past where you think it is and then let it go. Now, you were counting while, while she was doing yeah. it. Yeah. She let it go about 20 seconds before she pushed that button. I think you have to let it go about twice as long. So that's your strategy? That's my strategy. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, good luck to you. Thanks, brother. All right. You sound pretty confident. Yeah. Kiss my patootie. Kiss oh, your no. patootie? Yeah. He's afraid of heights. Why? Uh, Why kiss your patootie? Doesn't matter. I'm mean? taking the money and we can kiss you're my You're taking the money? Bucks. Well, I'm sure Derek has something to say about that. I don't live at home with mama and daddy. You don't even know oh, what you're going to do with it. No, you didn't. Heights will always be an issue for me. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, man, I don't like this. Don't like the wind. You're not in Kansas anymore! Just relax. Count to 40. All right, Jeremy, remember the distance to beat is 39 feet, 9 inches. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! And the swing has begun. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000. Here we go, baby. Just relax. Ah, God. When you're nervous, I think that heightens your senses a little bit, and I dropped it premature. Tina, that is very similar yeah, to where yours landed. It is. Oh, Drew, no nervous. All right, not no one's killing me. What do you think, Jeremy? I think she's close. You think so? You are incorrect, sir. You got 34 feet, 10 inches, and yours was 39 feet, oh, 9 so inches. so close. All right, it was very nice so, meeting you. Thank you, We got to send you packing. Thank you. All right. Take bye. care. Bye. I've only lost maybe four times in my life, and this would have to make five. And that's tough on my ego. Derek, this is it. I'm ready. It's your turn. Time to get I'm ready. Tea. Wish him luck. Good luck. No. <laughs> We're all friends here. Oh my God, yeah. wishing luck. And when I know he's going to go a hell of a lot later than I did. That's you think not, so? Yeah, that's, that's not so luck. Funny. That's just knowing. Let's go. You angry? No, no, no. I'm very peaceful. I want to plant daisies. This is my second chance. It's right here in my heart. I got this. Your second chance? I've conquered bulimia, and I'm going to conquer this dog. This is it. And it's all for butt implants? This is all for me and butt implants. <laughs> Colleen, I'm telling you, I'm not a negative person. I'm a realist. I mean, look at that. 34 feet is not going to even compete. All you have to do is get better than 34 feet, 10 inches, and Jeremy goes home. Second chance, you got this. Bill's paid off new car and a new butt. You got this, buddy. Good. All you have to do is get better than 34 feet, 10 inches, and Jeremy goes home. Hell yeah! Derek's up there for butt implants. I know he is. <laughs> I seriously, 20, 25 feet. You think so? I think he's gonna hit it. Really? And then the pressure's on for me, yeah. Really? He's not worried about you. He says you're too much of a pretty girl and you've had everything handed to you your whole life and you're still living with mommy and daddy. You don't have enough life experience. I you don't have life enough character. Experience. He doesn't know me that well. Let me see the victory dance. <laughs> oh, I see that one more time. <laughs> I love her victory dance. I think it's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna do it all the way out of here. 
Second chance, you made it this far, you going. Here we go, in three, two, one, go! All right, don't slip. You go all the way, baby. This is you, Derek. Second chance, you got this. Bill's paid off new car and a new butt. You got this, buddy. You got this. Waiting plenty of time. You got this, Derek. This is where it looked like you let go. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. See, he's smart. He waits. He's waiting. You got this. He's, he's definitely past where you, you were this, now. Derek. You got this. You got this. That's going to be probably be right. See, he's past. Oh, he's going to hit it. Trying to tell you. you got this. You are one person away from $50,000, Derek. You are one person away. Jeremy, obviously, he beat 34 feet 10 inches. I so that's that. it, bro. I got to send you packing. We'll Take care. You. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Bye. The heights was a big factor. I've been scared of heights my whole life. And here I did two stunts with heights. To be honest, I was really hoping for something physical. Derek! Derek oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Just you just sent Jeremy home. Colleen is still waiting in the wings, but in order to send you home, she's gonna have to beat seven feet, eight inches. This Very is gonna sporty. be down to the wire. Yeah. You got seven feet, eight inches. I'm What's hoping that I'm gonna get five feet. Five feet? Mm -hmm. That's it? Are you ready? Let's do it. You wanna give a little Come victory dance for him <laughs> before you do it? Bye. <laughs> All right, Colleen, this is your moment of truth. Yes, it is. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very nervous because the pressure's on. So. Pressure's on, you feeling that? Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm yeah. feeling that I have to hit the mark or I'm not gonna win. What is your strategy? To count, I'm gonna be counting. He dropped it at 65, I'm hoping he dropped it around 63. Woo! She's gonna count, and she said at 65, that's when you let go, so she's gonna let go at 63. That's her strategy. I hope she can't count. <laughs> Do or die. She says that her goal of uh, getting the money and buying a new car and moving out of the house and giving some of the money to pets and some of the money to the church. That's her idea. She says that's a far more worthy goal than your goal of butt implants. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Did you have a sneeze there? Yes. Is that what that was? <laughs> I'm a little unsteady. I'm ready to go. All right, Colleen, remember the distance to beat is seven feet, eight right. inches. Gotta Here be we go! Feet. In three, two, one, go! All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. She's wiggling a lot. She might fall off before she even gets there. Twenty-four, twenty-five. I gotta say, it's so hard to beat. You are so on the money. The odds are you're gonna win it. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. I think I should drop it soon. She's way past where you were. Now. Damn it. Derek, congratulations. Oh my God. You, Thank you, God! <laughs> you walked the beam, you walked on broken glass, you got the closest to the target. You are our Fear Factor $50,000 champion. Congratulations, and evidently fear is not a factor for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What implants, here you come. Boochie, boochie, boochie. <laughs>